Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. I've seen a few messages about it, a few comments about it on the um, videos. And uh, since some have moved to Windows 11 24H2, there's one thing that um, bothers a lot of users. And they, of course, think it's a bug when it's not a bug. It's about the temporary files that are left behind. Um, when you do a cleanup of your um, drive, so you go into storage in the settings and you look at all the files, it's going to actually calculate all the files that it can delete from uh, your system and show you um, exactly what uh, could be deleted in the temporary files area. One of the things that a lot of you have noticed is that with 24H2, you have a certain number of gigabytes of temporary files that don't delete. And so I've seen a lot of people saying, well, you know, there's a bug, you can't delete this, it's not a bug. When Windows updates on 24H2 changed to checkpoint updates, you know, we talked about it, the updates from now on will be small. But the thing is, a lot of you in the Windows Update section here have seen that even if you de delete files, it stays gigabytes large. You can't delete all of them. And that is the result of this new checkpoint updates. Microsoft should have explained that when the updates change to checkpoint updates, they are smaller but they sometimes require that they use uh, files that are already on the system. So that means when a checkpoint update arrives, like Patch Tuesday was a checkpoint update on 24H2, if it requires the access to a file that should be there already, um, it will, of course, use it, and that is what's left in the gigabytes that you see. That means all the updates from the future are going to be small, but you they come at the cost of several gigabytes on your hard drive that will not that you cannot delete. Because if you delete them, you will come back to standard updates that will have they will take a lot of time to download, and even after that, you'll still be stuck with gigabytes left behind. So uh, this is the direct effect of checkpoint updates. I know a lot of you are like, why do I have eight gigabytes of files or even more that I just can't get rid of? And uh, it was not like that before. Well, that's the result of checkpoint updates. From now on, this will be the way it works. And Microsoft should be explaining that rather than having tons of other people explaining it for them like I'm doing, to people that think it's a bug because it uh, isn't the same anymore. So checkpoint updates is um, the reason behind this. And could be the reason behind also, because a lot of people are saying that um, their you know, scan now, SFC scan now, command line reports errors all the time. Um, well, it could also have something to do with uh, checkpoint updates. Uh, that leave a lot of files behind and a lot of things behind. So from now on, this will be the norm because that's how checkpoint update works to make sure that the updates are very small. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.